happy Tuesday. Oh my gosh, I am kind of in a rush because I want to measure the tumor volumes of my mice before group meeting. Group meeting is at 10 a.m. It is now 8 a.m. and I'm presenting today. But yeah, it's so weird. Like I woke up today with like all of this energy and just like so much excitement for the day. And I'm just like, oh, this is great. This is such a great, 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 great feeling to have. I love this color. This is my favorite color. It's so pretty. These are the prettiest gloves I've ever seen. Too bad they're a little bit big though. Like they're a small and I usually use extra small. But yeah, I love this color. Okay, I'm gonna go check on my mice. Check back in with you in a bit. Hello. Just finished group meeting. Just presented my chaotic slides. Ah, I still have so much energy. I'm not sure what the heck is going on today, but I am just loving it. I think it's because I don't have any more injections from the animal study so far. So I'm just like so pumped that I don't have to like be sorting the cages and like doing all the injections and stuff. That's why I wanted to update you on. I don't even remember what I have shared with regards to my animal study, but I do remember talking and freaking out about how I needed to do multiple doses for this study because according to like what I read before about this drug that I'm doing, people usually give three doses for this drug because it's not really efficacious. How do you say that? Efficacious? Eff eff efficacious sounds like esophagus. Effic is that how you... One sec, let me... Efficacious. 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 Why are you not saying the whole word? Efficacious. Google's doing some kind of slang. Efficacious. Efficacious, there we go. <laughs> so apparently this drug isn't very efficacious. So I was planning to do three injections at least and I showed you how much work it takes to do one dose of nanoparticles. I think I also said that it would be miraculous if we just give one dose of my nanoparticle and it's like enough activity for it to like, you know, work. And so far, so far, it's, it's happening. I'm, I'm... <sighs> I'm hesitant to share this because I feel like it might jinx something and then tomorrow the tumors might just like freaking like double in size or something. But as of today, my nanoparticles are able to keep the tumor volume low enough that I don't have to give a second dose. So I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm just like so, so happy about it. And again, I don't want to speak too soon. In case something does happen, I have to be prepared to make more particles and give the dose. It will be fine if it happens but as of right now I'm just sitting and basking in this lovely lovely situation where I don't have to make more nanoparticles and give more dosing that is why I wanted to update no Jude is back that has definitely made my mood so much better I didn't even know like of course I knew but like the drastic difference in my mood is just so incredible having her back so I'm so happy and then I, I realized that oh my gosh today is July 6th literally like almost a week into July and I haven't updated you about my goals for this month because it's just been so hectic so let's let's just get right to it okay so June's theme is be excited for the future in parenthesis not afraid <laughs> So I'm happy to report to you that I feel my mindset slowly shifting. It's a lot of reflection and a lot of just acceptance of what's to come, but I feel less afraid of what's to come and more excited about it. There's really no point in being so worried about something that's so, so out of my control and I'm not even there yet. It's so cliche, but I really just need to enjoy the moment, my final moments in my PhD and, you know, not spend it worrying. Just take it as it comes. So. Yes, that was my theme for June. Um, I'm really embarrassed. Oh, I, don't, I don't think I got like any of it done. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna share with you anyways. Oh, freaking number one, submit manuscript. Like what the heck? What the heck? What what the heck was I thinking? Like who do I think I am? I did finish a very first draft and then I sent it to the boss. I guess it's not really on me because I did send it to him at the beginning of May and he hasn't sent it back because he's been busy with stuff. So I couldn't do anything really. <laughs> so, okay. I did not submit it. It's still really, really, really rough. Schedule committee meeting question mark. Definitely did not do that. I'm supposed to have a committee meeting every year and the last committee that I had was last June so I thought that I should at least schedule it 
for July or August or something but no like no just no I'm not I'm not ready yet and yeah I'm, I'm focusing on animal studies right now so I'm gonna push that until I'm done my animal studies so yeah nope definitely not <laughs> list of interesting research for postdoc positions or for potential postdoc I did do that it's like a, it's not a final list yet I still have more research to do I really just genuinely have not had any time to sit down to think about this at all so I do have half of a list maybe so half a check mark my nanoparticle pharmacokinetic study I did do the pilot study and I'm in the process of analyzing the data still but I think that my method isn't optimal yet so I, I can't cross this off either because I don't have the final graph that's zero for four so far. Great month. And then the paclitaxel nanoparticle anti-tumor efficacy. As you know, we're living and breathing that right now in the middle of the tumor study. So still not done that. I did do the paclitaxel nanoparticle starting material bulk synthesis. Yes, I did do that. So I got one check mark. And then the physical chemical properties of the nanoparticle. I did do that too. So that's another check mark. Ish. Because something wonky is going on with that as well so really out of this one two three four five six seven out of these seven goals i met one i completed one completely <gasps> but it's great it's fine it's fine it's fine so i'm being kind to myself it's okay i'll just continue in this month with with meeting these goals and you know i'll get there one day so that's the update today I don't have many experiments planned. Maybe I'll bug my lab mates later on. <sighs> I'll check in with you when I check in with you. Bye. Hello. I just wanted to show you. Nojude has been back for less than three days. And she is already... <laughs> She's already fixing this. This is a UPLC. I don't know if you can hear this sound. This was a thingy that I wanted to fix that other day, but I didn't fix it. But Nojude is the expert, so she pulled out the manual. She has her gloves on, and she's going to show me how to do this. <laughs> I'm going to put heart, 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 heart. <laughs> I'm burping the baby right now. Yes! Oh! Water is coming out. Okay. So we, we, we're, or Nojude, Nojude single-handedly removed. <laughs> the nebulizer and uh no i did i did jack shit and then sonicated it for 15 minutes and now we're now she's gonna pull it back in so the nebulizer is the thingy that evaporates all the solvent yeah put a ring on it in do you hear it so it's not What else can you clean? The drip too. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how. Here it goes. So that didn't work. Now we're trying to clean the drift tube. <laughs> Whatever the heck the drift tube is. Um. Oh my god. Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. It's actually 5 p.m. and I'm measuring the final samples for my nanoparticles. So I'm making new nanoparticles to get ready for an IC50 study next week. I just wanted to hop on and say hello on Wednesday because there's a very exciting collaboration that I'm doing with Jessica here on YouTube. And we wanted to do like a day in the life comparison of like a PhD student in Scotland versus a PhD student in Canada. I've just been filming all day for that video. So I think by the time this vlog comes out, the other video will be up. So I will link it up here somewhere. Also, there's a video on her channel where we had like a sit down chat and compared a few things about PhDs in Scotland versus Canada. So I'm super, super, super excited about this collaboration. Hope you like it and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. 
Hello, hello. Just got back from checking out my mice. They look fine. Uh, Lucas is done with the UPLC, so I'm going to prepare my sample for it. So this is like my drug dissolved in ethanol. I'm going to dilute this. I'm going to sit in front of the UPLC all day and optimize the parameters and stuff to get the highest signal possible so I can use this method to detect the drug concentration of my ooh, plasma sample. Because when I did the PK study, the limit of detection wasn't great, so I couldn't detect like super low concentration so I want to improve that and rerun my pharmacokinetic sample so I just need to dilute this centrifuge it and put it into a UPLC vial let's go for the UPLC, submit them, or submit them, just put them to run on the UPLC because Lucas needs the UPLC again I think today so I'm gonna try to finish running this before he needs it and then go check on my mice as per usual because yesterday I was working on optimizing my method so I'm gonna see if I actually improved the limit of detection at all or if yesterday was just a huge waste of time my brain is kind of jumbled right now let's just, let's just get one thing started at a time and we'll go from there Hello, hello. It is 4.15 p.m. I just got back from dropping off the tumor samples at Wax It. And then me and Noju went and got ice cream because it was so nice out today. And before that, I finished preparing my samples, my plasma samples, so that I can run them next week. I just turned on the lipolyzer so that it will have time to cool down and reach the vacuum. And then now I'm about to go down and do the last thing on my list, which is to euthanize the mice that have reached a humane endpoint. And then that's the Friday for you. That is all. Thank you so much for watching as per usual. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.